Oh, hey, how you doing? I'm Mark. I'm doing some wiring here, finishing up the lights. That's the, the last thing I, I do when I uh, hook up a, a new uh, layout is the lights. So everything else is working up there. And uh, I wanted to take this time underneath the layout here to thank everyone for 1,000 subscribers. I never would have thought that I would have made it to 1,000 subscribers when I started this channel. Oh, what short of uh, two years, two months? Two months short of two years, so that's awesome. And uh, I couldn't have done it without all you subscribers, that's for sure. And uh, it's just kind of uh, blown up into a lot of fun and I really enjoy it. I, I've really kicked around what I've wanted to do for this 1,000 subscriber special video. And I, I've kind of settled on I've wanted to do a live video. And uh, I don't have a fast enough internet for live video. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you up on top of the layout here. And I got to do some switching. I have a boxcar that is unloaded by Piggly Wiggly. And uh, we got to get that uh, moved and get a fresh one in there so they can start unloading that so I'm going to take you uh, on a journey as to how to start Mark's Lionel trains and we're going to do some uh, switching and and show you how uh, how I run everything and I haven't really seen too many do people do videos on that so I, I can't tell you enough how happy I am that we made it to 1,000 subscribers and like I said I, we couldn't have done it without you the subscribers so let's get up to the Top of the layout and run some trains. All right, we'll come up underneath there. And hey, Menards released a new building, Grandpa Jack's Hobby Shop. I'm very curious to see what it looks like inside for sure. That'll be the next video. This, ironically, my 1,000 subscriber video is my 80th video, so I, uh, Decided to change the configuration of my passenger train to the uh, AB, and then at the end, I have another A unit. And I don't know if they ever ran trains like that, but it looks kind of cool because it has the, the red lights there that light up there. And uh, yeah, that would look kind of cool. But anyway, I'll show you how we power up Mark's Lionel trains. Uh, this is the main power right here that comes in there and that controls everything. So let me sit in my chair, not as nice as Ray's rails, that's for sure. Uh, this is the power strip I use for just the train. And uh, when I turn the power on here, uh, the uh, lights go on for the uh, signals. So, and that's my original transformer from my 1996 set. And uh, that's powered here. And uh, I do that because I wanna, if I wanna run the trains and not the lights, then it powers up my Lionel Legacy system, which is right here. And uh, yeah, and I, I definitely don't have this plugged in when I'm not using the trains, so. And then the other side is for just the lights. So uh, when I uh, power up this power strip over here, then the Menards lights come on. And uh, then I can operate the uh, lights for this one. I'm using the CW transformer for this, so by powering that up, I turn on the lights for the CW. And then I can uh, raise the power on my CW, and then you can see the, the lights come on, what I have hooked up. I need to finish hooking up the rest of the lights there. And then uh, this is my 180 watt power uh, supply for the just the track and the switches. And uh, that runs off the legacy system and the, the power master down there. So that's uh, how I power up everything. And then uh, I uh, run the legacy. The, the base three is coming out. This is the, how I keep track of all the uh, locomotives and the sound cars. I have a list and their engine numbers and all the switches are numbered. The outside loop there uh, are one, two, three, and four. That's the 060 loop over to there. And then uh, it, it goes in succession from five, six, seven, and then this is the eighth switch over here. Uh, anything I can't reach, I use. So let me power up the uh, legacy. I'm doing this one-handed, so. And then track one is uh, what I use to power up the uh, track. I'm doing this one-handed, so then I'm gonna use boost, and hopefully this works. And sometimes when I boost up the track, all the locomotives start. 
and, and that's not supposed to happen. So, but anyway, we're trying to get this boxcar here behind the, um, uh, yeah, Piggly Wiggly, and he is number 11, so we'll go with uh, engine 11, and then we'll start him up. That's my Southern Pacific. session here uh, live uh, kind of like I guess I would do if I was doing a live session so like I said my internet isn't quite as fast as it should be but um, we'll correct that I guess so the lights are looking good so you got uh, the cabinet there for all the, the trains there I have a tripod there I have the, the I guess the, I don't know what that is the loop light or whatever it is, the round light, I don't know, everybody uses them, but anyway, okay, so, but anyway, number 11, he's all warmed up now, so let's get him into uh, reverse, so I gotta think about <sighs> how I'm doing this, all right, we'll uh, increase the power on him. This is the 
fun you have when you don't edit your videos, see? This is all the fun you're missing, <laughs> that's for sure. So, all right, um, well, we're gonna have to uh, definitely take care of that. Um, hmm, I wonder why that happened. I am gonna have to take a pause now because I gotta fix that. <laughs> all right, we have fixed the derailment and uh, we are uh, continuing about our way here, thankfully. The power of editing. You know, I, I was gonna edit this, but I said, you know, I'm gonna go back to my roots and do it the old-fashioned way like I used to. Alright, this one we gotta get over here, because I gotta put him on the... switches that I can reach. I don't have electric switches. Okay, let's get 11 going here. And we want to dump off that uh
switch this guy back to here. And then we'll get him out of the way. Six. And he's starting up now. Engine 11 is out of the way. And then 96 is going to push this boxcar over to uh, the Northwestern locomotives. And then we're going to hook up with this uh, um, uh, intermodal train here. got the new box car that we're going to be putting over by putting the window. That's another problem. This is why we like to edit. So I'm going to take another uh, derailment timeout. All right, I was able to correct the derailment and uh, get everything situated. This guy actually really belonged here, so in the effort of time, I moved him there, and uh, we are ready to uh, get this guy going over here and uh, move him. Hopefully we won't have another derailment as we try and get that car over to Piggly Wiggly to, so they can unload it. I'm going to have to move uh, engine 34 again to get him over onto the uh, other track, but you get the idea. subscribers it's really awesome the, the new layout is, is as good as it can be and and definitely uh, like the new layout so thank you very much for watching this special uh, 1102 subscribers maybe let's hope we get there that's right I'm sure it's been a, a, a pleasure and a lot of fun and thank you for your comments and your thumbs up and all you all your uh, your subscriptions I mean that's what this is all about it's just having fun so I got a couple uh, new things I mean Menards has so many cool things coming out Lionel has pre-orders coming out so definitely Mark's Lionel trains appreciate you thank you very much for watching